See you later, Tangaluma. It was fun. A little bit rolly last night though. Lucky we had our flopper stopper out. Could have been a lot worse, I think. A little bit of blue sky. Still plenty of clouds, so. He's hoping it's going to be a nice day for a sail. Got a little bit of breeze here. We're only talking about 12 knots most of the day, maybe a few gusts a little bit more, but should be a nice day for a bit of a sail up to Double Island Point. This is the course out of Tangaluma to head north. We've chosen to go up the main channel just for ease, which takes you over to the far shore over near Bribey Island. And then you turn up along the shore there. Runs up around towards Caloundra, then out into the ocean up there. The main shipping channel, so we've just got to keep our eyes out, but nice deep water, so nice and cruisy. Not looking good. One, two, three rain clouds to deal with. One of them sure to get us. There's some more tragic news. You can see all that loose line hanging off the reel. Well, that had a lure on the end of it about five minutes ago. Some, some hit it. Saw it jump out of the water back there. It's probably a little mackerel. And then I busted the line. So above my knot to the braid. When I was bringing in that tuna the other day, I could feel it rubbing across the back of the rudder at one stage, so I suspect I've nicked the line, but anyway, that was me good lure too. Bugger! There's the Glasshouse Mountains over here. Looking pretty spooky today actually. It's a shame it's not a bit clearer. Here's Caloundra. Get a quick picture of it before the rain comes back again. Couldn't see it two minutes ago because of the, the rain squalls. It's looking back at a pretty bleak looking Malula bar. This is looking out to sea from Malula bar. Quite a few ships waiting, I guess, waiting to get back down into Brisbane. Up all the way down to Caloundra. So here's some real sailing. <laughs> Got between 13 and 18 knots right on the beam. So a very fast but very active angle. I'm actually hand steering for this bit just to try and make the most of our breeze while we've got it. Getting a bit lumpy, you've probably got a good metre and a half of swell. Probably a metre of sea on top of it. But, pretty good. We've got down the 13s. But, we're still doing nearly 7 knots even in the 12s and 13s. So, it's not too bad at all. Just get back on the course. We've got a few hours till Double Island Point, so hope, hopefully this breeze hangs in there. the final approach up to Double Island Point. There it is just up ahead. Unfortunately we're going to get there in the dark. It's only about eight miles away but we just have to look at it in the morning.
go. Sunrise over Double Island Point. After an absolute shocker of a night. Probably see the swirl coming through. Absolute shocker. I'd rate it as probably the worst ever. So Sam, how's your last 24 hours been? Sucked. <laughs> I Why? wanted to get off. Why? Because it was dark and it was scary and no, we didn't sleep, that. didn't sleep all night, no, rolled no. around everywhere. The last 24 hours. So we left uh, Tangalooma and we had a pretty nice sail up, apart from a couple of rainstorms. And it's so long, it goes forever. It does go for a little while, it was a long trip. We left it first thing in the morning, first light. Quarter past six we left. We got in last night at Double Island Point at about 7.30, something like that. Yeah. In the dark. Yeah. So that wasn't and too much fun. And it was rolling and it was oh. hard. Just, you couldn't sleep all night. It was awful. It was pretty terrible. We got in there and found the swell. Obviously had a lot too, well, too much east in it. Because it was wrapping right around and into the bay. So it was dark, so we couldn't go in the lagoon that's formed there. But we ended up just anchoring off in probably a meter of swell so it wasn't very pretty uh, but anyway there were some harsh words spoken <laughs> pumpkin wasn't very happy with me but we got there we had one little bit of an issue we managed to get a rope caught around our our little storage box up here on the on the cabin top and we managed to break one of the supports on there so we've got a bit of woodwork to have to do at some stage we broke just over there so we've tied it down now it should be all fine but we've done most of the ocean miles so all good so we're basically just coming into the sandy straits it's an in skip point over on the right here that's all white bay bar out there we've just come across so on the other side of the sun is Fraser Island, or Kigari, I think it's called now. We are just entering the Great Sandy Straits. We've got Kigari and Fraser Island over on the right. And then around on the other side is In Skip Point. You can see the ferry there takes people over there followed that trawler the whole way through the entrance through the bar a few birds working might have to get me fishing line out I think that's no, not a bad day here today fishing rod happening it's a little threatening back there could be a bit of rain on the way again but Need a bit of salt washed off the boat, so that'd be good. Got pretty salty yesterday. We're headed for a spot called Gary's Anchorage. Big wide open waterway, but there's lots of sandbars around in the middle. So it's not quite as open as what you might think looking at it. Just for something different, here comes some rain. Not looking promising. I did say I wanted to wash the deck, but just not quite so soon. Maybe tonight while we're asleep. So this is low tide at Gary's Anchorage. blue sky. It was raining five minutes ago. Our afternoon's entertainment though is over here. 
Old mates, high and dry. Very peaceful. Uncomfortable few hours ahead for these guys. It's right at the bottom of low tide now. Let's just turn it off. No point in my trip. I can see it's on. It's not on. You go away. How's today gone? Very slowly. Compared to yesterday. <laughs> If yesterday was, a, what would you give yesterday? I give for, yesterday minus 10. For a big, <laughs> a big yes, sail in, a, in an ugly ocean. Yesterday and, uh, sucked. We lost a fish and lure, big sail in an ugly ocean, and then a little bit of an uncomfortable night. You gave a that, bit. You gave that a minus 10. Minus 10. So what about today in Gary's Anchorage? Today. Um, Getting through the bar at Wide Bay. Yeah, that was a bit rolly, but it was all right. It was easy enough, wasn't okay. it? Okay. Had one good one come through on us, but it didn't break, but certainly surfed us along for a little bit. Um, but that was easy. Getting up here was easy. Didn't touch bottom anywhere. No. Nice day, a little tiny, tiny sprinkle of rain. So what did you give today? Compared to a minus 10 yesterday. I give today a 7. 7 today. Yeah. Very it's good. nice weather, huh? Bit of amusement over there. <laughs> Bit of amusement. You've had your little dip and uh, nibbly dip tray. And champagne. Glass of champagne. I had a little good. nap. little nap. That's all good. Just a little something I organised for Sam for this afternoon to make up for our bad day yesterday. Fully sucking up. Look at Sailor Sam. What sort of night was that you tied? She's got a light. She's got a light jacket on on the shore, and said, "I'm not taking it off." Really? Take it off. You, you look like a dog. Take it off. And I'm going to check your knot because it's that it look like a single granny to me. So this is what Gary's anchorage is all about. So apart from the midges, this is what we're looking for. Beautiful quiet anchorage, birds, and apparently Esther and crocodiles, but probably not too many. Crockwise on Fraser Island. Didn't think they were down this far. Let's have a look over here. There's dingoes and crocodiles. Let's get out of here. But more, the thing I'm really, the thing I'm really scared about is the midges. Let's go. Turn around. <laughs> Brush your hair today. I do that, but it's not First time you've brushed your hair in. How long? Have a look at this. How specky is that? Beautiful. That's where you go cruising.
it so much for our peace and quiet. It's a trailer boat rally. Have a look at this. And we've had a houseboat anchor right next to us. There goes the neighbourhood. They're still coming. So this is the other end of Gary's Anchorage, coming out into the main channel. Where today happens to be the start of the trailer boat race. So it looks like we're going to be following them all the way up the channel here and into the shallows. Which could make things interesting. Just coming up to the shallow section. So, we've made it through the sketchy part. All this blue bit running up the channel here. That's the, the shallows at Sheridan Flats. Their little arrow you can see has made it all the way through. And then from there, it's all white, so very good. On our way up to Kingfisher Resort today. What do you think about that, Samantha? Fabulous. Pretty... I'm looking forward to getting off, going for a walk, sitting by the bar. That cool, <laughs> cool side bar sounded it's, good, didn't it? It's not very warm though. Today. It's not a great day. It's pretty overcast, but anyway, it might come good later. We'll see. Here's nice. hoping. It'd be nice to have a look around the place. Yeah, have a look. Somewhere different. Hopefully no sand flies too, huh? Yeah. They were a bit of a mission back there at uh, Gary's Anchorage, but they sort of kept you off the beach, that's for sure. They're yeah. still following all these trailer sailors that uh, invaded our nice quiet anchorage yesterday, but tended to want to party on till pretty late last night too, but ah, they weren't too bad. They were okay. This is South White Cliffs. Looking back down into the anchorage. The bay to bay trailer boat regatta, well and truly underway. Been following them the whole way. So, this is our friends on True Blue 5 that we were hanging out with over at uh, Gary's Anchorage. I'd like to swing by and say hello to them. <laughs> Man, we we got to the start line of the trimarans. And I, I thought the start line was sort of back behind us where the first boat was. And we were going through there and all of a sudden I'm back at us and all of a sudden they all spun around and started just going straight. We, go, oh, we were right smack bang in the start line. So. We weren't planning on being part of the regatta. <laughs> Well, it gave you something to look at all the way up though, so it was quite a spectacle really, isn't it? Yeah. But Beautiful afternoon here.
Okay, here we go again. Got the rod out. The lighter one today. Just on our way from White Cliffs over to Urangan. There's our, our anchorage in the background where we were before. Not a bad spot. Got a little bit rolly a couple of times in the uh, when the current was up a bit. But pretty good. Stand by. Just coming out the main channel here. Heading up towards Big Woody Island, which is up ahead here. And a few smaller ones, and then Big Woody up ahead. Got to go around that to get back into Urangan to go to the marina today. Just going past Big Woody Island. Interesting name. I guess it's because it's big and it's woody. Certainly doesn't look like one. Looking quite nice today out that way. But if you just happen to look around the other way. hoping it all stays right out there so no action on the rod yet I saw a few little fish around but nothing yet so we're just motor sailing along here Let's see we've got the heady up pulling nicely and we're just heading over towards Urangan which is basically just to the left of, uh, well, it's basically straight in front of the camera now, but we've got a little channel we've got to work through there. It's got one little shallow bit, but it's right on high tide, so we should be good. This is the top of Big Woody Island. We're just about to go turn left around. So here we are, tucked up in the Great Sandy Straits Marina. Happy to be ashore again, Precious? Yes, I'm very happy, thank you. I lost my feet on solid ground.
So we're on the move again. Yeah. What have we done? We've just left. The Great Sandy Straits Marina Harvey Bay. That's it. After a couple of nights there. Beautiful. Yeah, Captain. it was good. Good, good little uh, re-energise. Yeah. And the weather was really nice. Yeah, it was pretty good. So there now we're obviously motoring out of there, and we're headed for King Gull Point. Point. Never right. heard of it. Me neither. Anyway, it looks pretty nice. It's a little, it's over on Fraser Island, just inside a little sandbar that runs along the shore. So we're just motoring out there, it'll be a few hours, two or three hours probably motor. Got the fishing rod out again. And then we've also got this. The new ice maker, because our ice maker died while we were in at the marina. Fortunately, we met a guy, Alex, from North Entrance, who happened to be uh, have a bit of electrical experience, so he checked it out, checked the old one out, we decided it was kaput, put a new fuse in, blew up straight away. So its time has been, its time is done, basically. Fortunately, Road Tech Marine in, in town had one of these little guys, Brass Monkey, Look, it was working in the shop. We could see how the uh, ice has been produced. Looks pretty good. Smaller than the old one. Runs off DC as well. So we're going to give that one a run. It got to have ice. So that just uh, was very timely. Alex had access to a car as well. He was going into town to do some stuff. So I just jumped in and we did a quick trip to Road Tech Marine. So that worked out very well. So. Very thankful to Alex for that. He's on his Magnum 8.5 called Minky. He's just done the Bay to Bay race. So, uh, yeah, very, very fortunate to meet up with him. Pretty nice day out here today on the bay. Looks like the next day or two should be fairly light winds. So, I'm going to have a couple of days here and then probably head up to Bundaberg next. Maybe on the weekend in a few days' time. So, see how we go. We're on, guys! Yoo what, what do I do? <laughs> you pick it up and you wind it in. Go and sit up on the cabin top there. And I'll turn the boat to the right. Oh, shit! Put it right up in the air. Rod tip up. Pump and wind. Do I have to take anything off? No. What about the drag? Well, I don't think it's a huge fish this time, but keep winding. Don't let any slack in the line. Are you coming in close? Watch your, watch your line. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, oh! Yeah. Oh! What's with the vocals? Pulling towards the front of the boat. What is it? It's a little mackerel. It's not a very big one. What do we do with it? Oh, I'll come and give you a hand there. Oh. You... Let's leave him in the water. Yeah. There he is. There he is. Nice. Nice little mackie. Off. Fabulous. Well, that was a rude awakening for Pumpkin. She was just having a little bit of a snooze. Now we've got another fish on. Not a huge one, but keep that rod up. Just going to assume the position. Hey, what sort of hold is that? Left hand up the top. Nah, that's bad. Turn the boat a bit for you. It's a little 
Like Pull him out from under the boat. Don't let him get under there. Save it. Pull. Oh. Sort of a little mackie. It's the same fish. It's a spotty, this one, I think. Oh! There he is. I got him now. Yeah, hey, nice. Not a real big one, but anyway. Put your glove on. I think it's a little spotty, that one. I'll have to polish up on my uh, mackerel identification. Lord, I saw some fish up ahead. They looked a bit tuna-ish. It's a good ass. I want to see pumpkin wrestling with a big long tail. She's wrestling with staying awake at the moment. Here we go again. Fish number three. It's not about rest, it's about excitement. Come on. Just hurry up and bring your fish in, will you? Stop complaining. where he is. Keep pulling the rod out to the side so you can get him out around the, the boat. Oh, I can see him on the surface back there. Hmm. Let's see him on the surface back here. Tiny. That's a little spotty. That's definitely a spotty. Yeah. Lift him up so I can see him. This is getting towards low tide out at Kungal Point on the inside of Fraser Island. This is our friends on Narisha, Sean and Sarah. A couple of four-wheel drivers up on the beach. A little bit of a rolly anchorage this one. We've got a bit of nori swell today, so she's a little bit rocky and rolly unfortunately. But we're only here for tonight and then we're going to keep moving north up to Bundaberg. The precious is up the front in the bean bag, having a bit of a relax. Pretty chilled day. In her happy place, she reckons. <laughs> 